first piece of merchandise uh, that ever <laughs> featured you? Oh my goodness, I can't hear. Was that the T-shirt? Wait, no, that one didn't feature me, but it was just Eminem. Oh, maybe oh. the DVD, one of the DVDs, like for um, I think it was like Divas in Cancun or something, or Divas do Mexico, something like that, where we were at a beach. Hmm. I wasn't on TV yet, but they had me do it, and so by the time I came out, I think Eminem barely came out or something so it was just like the timing was perfect but it was just so awkward i look at my videos now and i think uh you can see like my baby boys and everything mm -hmm. <laughs> well i was going to ask because you just said you're an introvert there as well and then it's like right introvert get in a bikini and stand out there for four hours and get photographed like could you do you <laughs> ever get over that kind of thing uh Yes and no. So like I, you learn, that's like, that's kind of like a, now I know how to socialize. So I'm better with talking before I didn't know how to talk. I didn't know how to speak my mind. Um, I didn't know how to, to, to talk to people when it came to things. So that's why another reason where I thought, well, I don't blame people for hating me. I didn't really talk. <laughs> I just listened. So in my mind, the way I, you know, grew up was I would listen to people and then try to find common commonalities and then try to join in on things that I knew. Okay. I understand this. Maybe I'll start talking about this or people would realize, Oh, she's here wanting to be a part of the group. And then they'll like invite me in. That never happened. <laughs> like It all went wonky and I never fit in. So I never had my, I never could find a spot <laughs> to go <laughs> to find a, like a place in wrestling in But I learned. These are the things where even like photo shoots and all that stuff, it's, you know, they're, they're not my best work, but at the same time, these are the steps to take to learn how to pose and learn how to be comfortable in your own skin and learn how to be more, you know, have fun with people on a beach. Like, this is the first time I'm outside away from my family. Like, enjoy the beach, Melina. <laughs> and I did. It's These are all learning lessons and scary and crazy and weird at first, but you learn the more practice you get. I'll, uh, I'll shift off this in a second, but I was going to ask this later on, but it sort of like feeds into this now, is were you ever offered uh, to do Playboy? Uh, yeah. Were you really? <laughs> so, when, so when I'm doing those promos and stuff saying like, they asked me and blah, 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 blah it's the truth. <laughs> and I couldn't, like, I, there's nothing wrong with doing it. it. It's just my mentality back then especially was, well, the main reason is the latter one that I'm going to say, but when I got into wrestling, I got into wrestling and it does change how people perceive you when you do certain things. So it's not to say like, oh, you know, I look down on people who do it. It's the knowing of how it'll affect you in the future. Because I've signed with the girls when they like they're they're signing their um, doing autograph like regular autograph signings. If somebody slaps a Playboy right in front of them and that look of frustration, like, really, you're going to just slap that on there. And I think it's more of like my kids or something. And I like, I would see that and think, yeah, I really got to think this completely through. My mom would tell me if they're paying you a good amount of money, you should <laughs> do it. <laughs> Is there, oh, mom. And in my heart, the reason I didn't want to do it was I didn't want somebody to come into my, my dad's music store and put that magazine in my dad's face or my brother or to have like whoever I'm dating, like the way I saw it at that time before all this craziness of the internet and all this stuff happened is I don't want the person I'm dating that I love to see, have other guys see me naked. Mm. He's the only one who's going to see me naked. And that's another big thing too. So all these factors, it was like, uh, I don't, I don't really want to do it. You, like it's you, not you can't put the toothpaste back in the tube kind of thing. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, did uh, did Playboy at least like? I, I assume they gave you a uh, money offer. Would it have been worth it for a certain amount for you? Or, or, or I, I won't ask the number, <laughs> but what did you turn down roughly? Maybe. Oh, I have no idea. Basically, it would just be um, Johnny telling me. He'd just be telling me, "Okay, Marina, like you know, uh, they're asking again." And I'm like, I, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I honestly, yeah, I honestly don't blame you. That I, huh? I honestly don't blame you because, it, like, it's the whole toothpaste back in the tube, and with the internet and everything, everything lives forever now. So, what yeah, seems like a good but, idea one year may not be a good idea the next year. 
And it's already as it is, like nobody, like for a long time, people couldn't see the person behind the splits. Like all people saw was the splits and there's no person behind it. There's no individual, no human. Like I had no feelings and it's like, I have feelings. I'm more than just that. Like, thank you for appreciating it, but I'm a person. 